All right, back with you. Uh, these are our three monotubs. Uh, this is the one we made today, and then these are the next two. As you can see, this one looks a little bit different, and that's because the uh, these have been sitting for a while. You can see a lot of uh, condensation here and this nice viewing hole. And what this, the reason for this is, is because the air is gonna come through our filter patches here and it comes out of this hole. So um, as the air goes in, it kind of, it ventures out here. It's gonna clear off the condensation. Um, same thing with that one. The reason this one uh, isn't like that is because we just made this a couple minutes ago. So the bulk substrate was a little bit, um, a uh, little bit warm in there still. Usually it wouldn't be fogged up already. But let's go in and take a look at these. First one, this one's gonna be a little bit harder to see because of the fogged up area, but um, as you can see, it's just all all brown. Uh, the little white specks you see in there, that's the vermiculite. That's where all the water's, all the water's gonna be held. Um, you'll see a big difference in the next one though. So we're gonna come over here. This one's not that interesting because there's not much going on here. Let me come over here though, move my light to the next one, and you'll see a huge difference here. So coming in, you see same thing as the other one. All the brown is still the cocoa coir, but all this white stuff on top is all of our mycelium growing. See if we can zoom in on some of this. Um, so mycelium on the bottom right of your screen there, uh, all in the middle, bit everywhere that you can see. It's hard to get everything because of the small little window I have here to view. Um, but you can see just a huge difference and this is just one weekend. Um, so let me, let me show you what the, um, the ones, this one's actually already fruiting the next one. Let me pull this one over here. And this one, so this is about a week and a half. And what you'll see is you'll see mushrooms growing in here already still. So the, it's actually interesting because this one, usually the, um, usually you'll see all white in here, but this, um, type of mushroom is pretty strong and, uh, it wants to fruit already. So in a lot of these spots, um, you can see a ton of mushrooms coming up, a ton of little teeny tiny ones. Uh, they got some big ones on the right up there and some, some, um, other ones in the back. Let me zoom in a little bit on here and, uh, kind of get a little closer to this. So you can see right in the middle of the screen, you have the little bitty uh, heads of the mushroom starting to come up. These are what we call pins. Um, the, and then as they, once they start pinning, they'll start growing. And these things grow quick, man. They grow fast. Like I'll be able to, we'll be able to harvest these in probably, um, probably three, maybe four days. Depends on a few things. What I generally want to do uh, when, you, when you're looking at fruiting these, when you're looking at pulling these when they're fruited, is um, is the, the cap is just about to open. Um, what you don't want to do is let it open and drop spores everywhere because that's just going to cause, it causes a mess, man. These things, they, they drop millions of spores and when you're talking about all these mushrooms and this is only just a tiny bit I'll come back and show you these again in a couple days and see the big difference um, we'll cut to that in in just a bit but the um, when you have this many mushrooms I mean you're talking about billions and billions of spores um, that they would drop so you want to do want to harvest right before they right before they drop all the spores and they they'll man it, they 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 open up the tops really fast so when they're when they're it's that time within an hour sometimes they'll they'll open up and fully drop the spores it's it's wild depends on what type of mushroom you have and um on how fast they grow but uh, generally speaking these things will double in size pretty much every day um, until they're ready to go. So look, I'll show you these in the next couple days and um, see that just a huge difference. We'll look at all three of these bins again um, over the next few days until we're ready to harvest. All right, this is the next day. Uh, so this is, you can see actually the, just like the other ones, the humidity uh, inside has the little patch 
and we can actually see through the clear window now this time as opposed to yesterday. So nothing growing yet, um, kind of as expected, but this is the one that we made uh, earlier in the video. Uh, going to the next one, this one is the one that we looked at uh, that's about a week old, and um, I don't see any pinning yet, uh, but it so it pretty much looks about the same. But the uh, interesting part is this is the one we looked at yesterday with the mushrooms, and look how big they've gotten just in one full day. I mean this, so we'll be able to harvest these probably, probably in a couple days, depends. But I mean, man, there's just so many. It's great. So we'll check these out again tomorrow and uh, show you how much bigger they got as well in 20, 24 more hours. All right, I wanted to come back and show you this. This is the third day after uh, everything. And you can see that this is getting some white on the surface quite a bit uh, already. Um, so the, the middle one, probably not too much change in here just yet but you can see it looks like looks like some pins are coming up just on the bottom right of the screen um, super small right now but you check this out though this is the one that was that's fruiting and look how look at these things I mean these are huge ready to pick let me flip it around so you can see the other side maybe a little better um, lots totally grown uh, there's one or two in here that are just about to see that one right in the middle Let me zoom in on it here right here this one is uh, the this uh, it's just about to start dropping spores so that'll happen it's gonna open up all the way and um, spores will start dropping out of that so we want to catch that um, could pick it now but I'm gonna wait for just a little bit for a few more of these and uh, kind of pull a whole bunch at one time um, but yeah you can see I mean just how big they are this is just the third day from from earlier super cool all right pulled off a few of these already wanted to show you just the final one uh, the final uh, bit of these some of these are just a may have dropped spores already and they're kind of already are they're all blooming but this is the final bit oh yeah you can see a ton of spores on top that have been dropped but anyway i'm about to pull all these just wanted to show you what it looks like this is the first time i'm actually opening it now today and um yeah this is the first flush hey just want to come back with a little recap so we had um the i pulled all those mushrooms off today um, and it's been just a little bit over two weeks that we got all those mushrooms pulled uh, And it's going for the second flush now. So hopefully we'll get a we'll get a second flush hopefully a third and a fourth and um, and then discard that in uh, the, um, the The rest of that substrate that's in the tub. We'll just put that in the in the garden um, The middle tub uh, we should be able to do the same thing with in about a week and then the one that we made a few days ago in about two weeks so uh, that's it. I just want to say uh, thanks for watching. Um, give us a like. Definitely subscribe if you found any of this useful. Uh, give me a comment if you have any questions about anything. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one.